Hi there, I'm Peter Brower, and today I'm gonna to share with you the story about how a real estate market really works. Because there are five phases. I'm gonna take you all the way back to 2011, because in October of 2011, we actually had an announcement here that said we had a ship's contract coming. And basically, Irving was going to start building ships in Halifax. And our market zoomed straight up. And in the following 10 months, we experienced price growth and volume growth. We had about 4,000 houses on the market at the time, but our inventory shrank, our prices went up, and we ex really experienced a boom at that time. Now, in 2012, in July, because the market wasn't just overheated here, it was overheated throughout Canada, the, the Canadian government changed interest rate policies. So all of a sudden it became much more difficult for you to borrow money. Well, guess what happened? Our volume went straight down. Now, what's interesting here is that our prices didn't go down. Our prices stayed flat. They didn't really go anywhere, but our volume went down and it increased our total number of available units for the next six years, for 2013 all the way through 2018. So we reach 2018 and what happens? Well, we have about 4,000 houses on the market. We have record low interest rates. We also are seeing something change, something that's very different from 2012 to 2018. People are moving to Nova Scotia. About a net 10,000 people are moving here. And that is going to start driving our economy. Then of course, COVID comes along and interest rates are even lower. So we have two large factors happening here. We have people coming here and we have a infusion of cash and confidence for buyers to buy properties. We start seeing this skyrocketing market. So between 2018 and 2020, we go from a buyer's market where we have lots of available houses, there are more sellers than buyers, to a balanced market in 2020 where all of a sudden our inventory starts decreasing. We're down to about 2,000 houses on the market. We're seeing interest rates going down. We're seeing our population going up. We continue to get this additional pressure on more people moving here. We have lots of federal stimulus coming into the market. And in 2021 and now 2022, we are at the peak of this market. And what that really means is we've, we've achieved a very high probability for a seller to max out the value of their house. Because right now, we only have 250 houses on the market. We have still 10,000 people a year moving to our marketplace. Now, what's happening now? Well, the federal government has said that the market is overheated. So what are they going to do? They're now increasing interest rates. And of course they're doing that because inflationary pressures are upwards. We also are seeing provincial measures put in place to cool the market down as well. Check out my last couple of videos, they'll tell that story. What does that mean? Well, that means that now we start seeing pressure downwards because with higher interest rates, your borrowing power decreases. Now, we still have these conditions here, and those are what's different from 2012, because in 2012, we actually had 6,000 people a year moving away. Now, we have 10,000 people a year still moving here to Nova Scotia. So, does that curve go Traditionally, the way it goes down, none of us know. And if anybody tells you that, you know, look, they're predicting something that, that nobody can predict. The reality is this though, with higher interest rates, we start working downwards on this curve. Whether this curve is relatively flat or steep, that's really dependent on the level of inventory, which is still at record lows. We still have people moving to the province. So it really signs here that we're going to have a relatively soft landing, but our reality is this. Once we saw interest rates go up, once we saw the government taking active intervention in the marketplace, that started signaling the end of the boom part of the marketplace 
and more now to a balanced marketplace, which really realistically, we are starting to see some of these things in the market where before we were having maybe 15 or 20 offers on a property, we might have two or three. We also are starting to see prices level off in many marketplaces, depending on what the product is. And that's really what a realtor brings to the table. We are the experts on being able to determine the value of the property right at whatever that spot of the curve is. Our job is to serve you at this point where things are pretty tough for sellers or at this point where things are pretty tough for buyers. But the reality is this, we are probably very close, if not towards the end of the upswing and shifting down into a more balanced market. That doesn't mean that prices are going to decrease. We didn't see that in 2012. We actually saw things re remain relatively flat in most marketplaces for five or six years, where we saw much more normal price appreciation of 1%, 2%, 3%. We did have a couple of markets that actually saw the market pull back a little bit because it had overshot a little bit to the top. But the reality is this, you're going to start seeing a much more normalized curve until, of course, we get all the way back to the bottom, which we're, we're going to get there eventually. And then, of course, at that point, interest rates will decrease again and this entire cycle will start over again. That is Real Estate 401. Now you know all of the conditions of a real estate market. As your expert, my responsibility is to navigate you through wherever we are on this curve, help you on the buying side or on the selling side and help you make the most informed decision possible. If you have any questions about real estate, you know what, leave me a little note, touch base with me. I'm happy to help you. I'm here to guide you and it's my pleasure to do so.